Cool or funny? Crazy or messed up? You decide after watching 10 streamers who got swatted live on camera. Swatting is crazy. I mean, why would someone want to call a SWAT team on a streamer, but then again, some people are messed up and will do anything for a prank. If you don't know what swatting is, you better watch this video, or else you could be swatted too, you know. It's when someone pranks a YouTube streamer or gamer by calling the cops on them, accusing them of something really serious going on at their house. A SWAT team promptly arrives and takes down the streamer with the entire incident being streamed on camera. If you're on YouTube a lot, you'd know who Jordan Kutcher is. Originally called Jordan Matthewson, Kutcher was part of The Creatures, a group of Let's Play commentators who played regularly with each other live streaming their games and speaking about the crap they do and stuff. Kutcher's YouTube career was kicked off when he joined the Call of Duty Machinimas, who would air on the Machinima main channel. These guys even had a live stream talk show online every Saturday. Kutcher became a live stream commentator for Left 4 Dead and Modern Warfare 2, and then one day he got swatted. Now, this ain't no prank bro, I kid you not, it actually happened. Who swatted Kutra? No one knows. Obviously someone who doesn't like him, and there's a lot of that green stuff called envy between streamers too. On August 27th, 2014, Jordan was swatted while streaming, playing Counter-Strike on Twitch along with his group The Creatures. The cops got a call that Kutra was in a live hostage situation. But believe this, whoever swatted out Jordan made sure that all four of his teammates were swatted at the same time too. Shut the front door. Now that's epic SWAT history, man. Check it out. Jordan was arrested, but released later. K dudes, y'all know Twitch streamer Summit1G, right? His real handle is Jared Russell Lazar, who retired from a competitive Counter Strike and other esports. Lazar became hot property as a streamer on Twitch by streaming CSGO and War Z, including Scape from Tarkov, Grand Theft Auto V, Sea of Thieves, Valorant, and Days. Now this guy needs to be in the YouTube Hall of Fame because of his 53 million followers and a multi-year contract with Twitch, but who would swat him? Now this is classic. Cops swatted Jared in Monument Valley Park while he was streaming playing Pokemon. Can you believe that? Someone reported him and all because the loony dude didn't like Jared's livestream. But hey bud, you don't call a SWAT team on someone, do you? But it seems some loony got his math wrong, because Jared soon outdid Tom Syndicate Castle in the number of followers. Jared even became the most followed channel. Summit 1G was pretty peeved at the incident, calling whoever did it a real douchebag, even though he captured a Charmander. Counter-Strike Global Offensive just got too real for the real champion of the game, Jordan Gilbert, aka Nothing, the coolest, meanest, and most experienced player on this side of North America. Nothing got swatted during a live streaming event when he was playing with other streamers online. Check out the video, there's some crazy stuff happening right then and there when SWAT enters Gilbert's home. Gilbert and his team were playing their usual Counter-Strike Global Offensive when Gilbert was called out. What's weird is even while the SWAT search was going on, his teammates continued commenting about the event. You can hear them asking, WTF Jordan, there are four cops in Jordan's room right now with rifles. One guy takes the cake with his comment saying, Jordan had the bomb the whole time, maybe that's why SWAT came. There are four cops in Jordan's room right now, apparently. Jordan had the bomb that whole time, no wonder the fucking SWAT team was there. As for Gilbert, this guy's pretty cool about the whole thing, saying someone called the police and he had to go down to the station to sort things out. Luckily, okay, so uh, someone, someone called the police or something. Um, it's all good. Gilbert previously played as a rifler for Cloud9 before going inactive, but nothing is the most professional and experienced Counter-Strike player in the US. But we all know that, don't we? This guy's sick. He won his first tournament when he was just 10. Next on this list is Fortnite streamer Roly Ranchers. Now this is not cool. Come on, he's just a kid. Peter Roly Ranchers Verati may be one of the most popular Fortnite streamers on YouTube, but he's just a kid and only 13 years old. In 2018, Roly got a huge spike on his channel that shot off to 120,000 subscribers from just 1,000, thanks to an endorsement by YouTuber Scizors. And man, that's a mega boost there for a kid. But then again, some douche doesn't really know when to draw the line here. While Verratti was streaming on Fortnite, he got a rude interruption with cops banging on his door. Apparently, they were responding to a call made by none other than Verratti's viewers. How crappy is that? The viewer informed cops that Verratti's mother was about to hang them. Oh jeez, now that got serious right there. It was the young kid's scariest moment of his life, and he even breaks down. Poor guy, now this isn't a joke here. We really feel for you, Roly. You rock, little man. Here's another Twitch streamer who was swatted while live streaming gameplay online. 
It's none other than Air Force veteran Joshua Peters or live streamer Koopa Troopa 787. And this here isn't funny either. You can see here, guys, I think this is absolute BS and such a waste of police resources. Joshua, who lives in St. Cloud, Minnesota, was live streaming with nearly 60,000 viewers when SWAT banged at his door. Peters recalled how the event was not a cool experience. He was almost in tears explaining how his younger brother almost got shot when the cops pointed a gun at the screaming boy. Not cool, man. This show swatting is dirty and y'all guys have nothing better to do. You need to chill. Does this look fake to you? No way, believe me when I tell you this is madness and Trick 2G no less. This guy is a legend, a regular League of Legends streamer on Twitch. He's just insane in the stuff he gets up to. Well, I guess that's why he has 1.16 million subscribers on YouTube. His antics are bad, if you know what I mean. Trick 2G's clowning around might have got someone's goat because he was swatted and it was not cool for him to be on the ground staring down the barrel of a real gun. <laughs> Shut up, man. What is wrong with you? Stop. Okay, hold it. Since you're getting all serious right now, let's lighten this a moment. This was staged, man. Yeah, Trick 2G couldn't help but laughing like a goat. Couldn't you make out how those oohs and ahs were so bloody fake? But here's the thing. After this incident that was thoroughly enjoyed by millions, Twitch banned him but for just one day. You think Twitch could ban a successful guy like Trick? No way, it's all about Big Moolah, man. Alexander Walks is a YouTube gaming phenomenon also called White Boy 7th Street, but you know that, don't you? Walks commentates for a variety of games like Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, The Walking Dead, Battlefield, and more. But in 2014, he was rudely interrupted while guiding an avatar through the zombie-infested wasteland of days. There was a loud banging on his door, and we see the YouTuber get up and walk away. A few seconds later, a SWAT officer wearing a bulletproof vest with a police dog walks by and wham! We know he just got swatted. Someone called the cops with a false bomb tip at Walk's house. It was the third time Walks had been swatted which led to an actual arrest of the YouTuber and his roommate for felony possession after the dog sniffed out his stash of marijuana. Tough luck, dude. Last we heard, cops dropped all the charges. Tanner Rogue Treb is another professional gamer on Twitch who first entered the battle genre with H1Z1 and later moved on to Call of Duty Blackout. He started out in esports with Elevate's Call of Duty team in October 2012 and became team captain and COD department head. Rogue recently joined Energy Sports Apex Legends team in May of 2020. It seems SWAT pranksters have a thing only for the famous guys out there. Maybe it's sweet seeing people like Rogue taken down by real SWAT. I mean, I don't know. I still don't get what it is with people these days. Check this out when Tanner, like Kutra, got swatted. But hear the audio well, man. Fuck 12, fuck 12, fuck the police. He actually got a cop to say the F word. Damn. Now here's one crazy swatting incident gone totally wrong. And it also proves that these things are not always funny. Check out the case of Tyler Dobbs in February 2015. The gamer was actually shot with rubber bullets in the event. It was 23-year-old Zachary Lee of Maryland who called Robert McDade in Coventry to pretend he was Dobbs. McDade called the terrorist hotline claiming he had hostages and a gun threatening to eliminate them if he didn't receive $15,000 in cash. A SWAT team arrived at Dobbs' residence in minutes even as Dobbs was live streaming on YouTube. SWAT raided Dobbs' home and without warning shot Dobbs with rubber bullets in the face and chest. The young gamer was hospitalized with bruised lungs and a fractured nose. When the cops realized it was a hoax, the calls were traced to McDade and Lee, who were both arrested and sentenced to two to five years in prison. Well dudes, still think swatting's funny? Think again. Now here's a cool swat if there ever was one. British RuneScape player Ali Larson, aka Grosscore, is awesome for his RuneScape-based commentary. He's been making them for years and has grossed over 10 million views. The popular League of Legends streamer was swatted by a SWAT team, but this guy remained cool throughout the incident. Heck, he even asked one of the SWAT cops to sit on his couch while he finished his rank match. That's amazing, because instead of a lot of shouting, screaming, wailing, and please officer, please, like in most SWAT incidents, this guy goes like, have a seat officer. Um, a police at my door. Um, guys, can you give me like, I know I've got something really bad. I'm just, just come take a seat or stand up. 